My brothers and sisters in Christ, my reflection today is very short for at Mass uh, that we hear a very long first reading today, and for the sake of the length of Mass and people working, I don't like to, to preach much on this day. But I will offer a, a very simple word and theme that connects the, the very beautiful reading from Daniel today, the Susanna story, and what we hear in the Gospel uh, from Jesus and the woman caught in adultery. Both readings have this theme uh, of the woman trapped in adultery in this way in different circumstances. But what the two stories side by side serve to do is show in a wonderful way the way in which love and truth are tied together. The first reading contains more of what we would consider a, a, a typical depiction of truth, which is the woman is falsely accused, and the voice of the young Daniel helps to have the truth bring to light and the truth sets her free. But the gospel takes it a step further when it's not just a matter of truth. In fact, the woman in this story has committed adultery. Jesus does not deny this truth, but he also loves her. And so his mercy is not separate from the truth. It does not deny the truth, but it is wedded to the truth. And so this reminds us of the importance that true love must be exactly that. There is no truth without love, and there is no love without truth. Sometimes we need further thought on that. The truth, no matter how clear, if it is weaponized, is not loving, and therefore it is not true. But likewise, there can be no love without truth. And so, as it comes to our Christian living and the true definition of charity, may we reflect on the way in our own lives that these two virtues are tied together. May God bless you.